welcome back, Cancer, to part two. So, I don't have, I don't have my intro ready, but I had my baton here. So, you haven't seen my baton. So, welcome, Cancer, to part two. I mean, you had, you had the four wands. So, that's celebration. So, celebrate good times. Come on. There's your song. Let's celebrate. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We're gonna celebrate and party with you. Come on. Se oh, I hit. I oh. Oh, okay. On to the reading, part two. For cancer. When did we start here? We started hanging. You were hanging for some reason or somebody else's, but it was necessary for you to see the world in a different perspective. Maybe you had to be alone for a while for some reason. I'm gonna continue to use this because I love my baton and you will see my baton video soon. Okay. The lovers, don't forget about the lovers, Cancer, because that's a decision. Maybe you've been hanging on a decision. Hanging on a decision, looking at something a different way because of a choice. Because of somebody else's choice. You gotta you got take a break. You've been working for a while. Working about... Maybe you've just been working too much. Maybe you've been ignoring a decision or somebody else has been ignoring a decision and they've been going to work. Or maybe you've been working with somebody who's not making a decision so you're waiting on them. You're waiting for your harvest to come in, but you're, it's coming, it's coming, Cancer. It's coming, your celebration is coming. This is coming to you, or <laughs> Hamlet likes to take his toy and wrap it in the finest of fabrics, and then find it later, like a game, every time. So he's wrapping the sexy skirt I have on my light here, so if my lighting gets weird, it's the wiener dog. So look at this. I mean, you have a celebration. It's, it's like canopied in clover. So, luck is on your side. You've got all types of people here. you got a blue dude, a white girl, a red dude, and a yellow dude. Maybe that one's a girl, too. I don't know. And they're, all, they're all doing that thing where they take the ribbon and they wrap it around the thing and they dance together. So... I told you the light would get weird. I wanted it to be a little sexier, but Hamlet likes me so he likes he likes my amazing skirt. This is an amazing reversible skirt, by the way. If anyone has street fairs in the city they live in and they see these suckers, go get yourself one because I've had it for years and you wear it all the time and you wrap it different ways and it's amazing and I'm getting off track. Maybe you need to go shopping. Get something new. Get something flowy and beautiful. Guy or girl, it's getting to be warm. Get some comfortable, like, spring into summer outfits or something. Don't put all your comfort in the money and the shopping thing. Just one thing. One present. Maybe that's your little celebration. Maybe that can start your celebration. Maybe you need to start by getting yourself one thing that just makes you feel good. Go get yourself a tiara. Cancer. No. Go get yourself like, I don't know, what do guys like that makes them happy? I can't even think of anything. What, whatever you do, your dude self likes to do. Go get some new fly fishing material gear to make some new awesome fly fishing things. All right, look at this. This is your support. This is where you're coming from. This is all that hanging time. This is the hermit. This is also being alone. That could have been forced in your life. 
for a reason, maybe beyond what you're allowed to understand. But I do remember you had the High Priestess mm -hmm. big time in the last one, or at least I remember it right big time. High Priestess. So you know, follow your intuition. You know, it's for a reason. There's a bigger purpose to possible, possibly this alone time than you know now. Because you needed to find your own inner light. You needed to find who you were, who you were really, what was really important to you, what direction you needed to go. You needed to connect to your spirit. Mm -hmm. And maybe you just needed to do it alone. You know, in this card, I need some light. Appropriately for the hermit. Although in this one, he doesn't have a light. In this one, the hermit has a book. Okay. Ham, can you take a break? Take a break. Thank you. All right, so. Let me switch. I still need, let me make this light white. There we go. There we go. So we can be sexy and I can point. So let's give it a little light on the hermit as to why the hermit is the hermit. It's Virgo. This could be somebody in your life. You could be this little boy learning from somebody older than you. I did mention my grandma, right? So maybe there's somebody in your life that's alone that you connect to because you've had time alone as well. I feel like this isn't a complete loner card here with the hermit. It's a different interpretation and it's meant for you. So let's look at it. All right. Yeah, this little boy, he's in his little knickers, like he's yodeling, like he's, he's Heidi. So maybe he's going to grow up to be like the sound of music. You know, the hills are alive with the sound of music. Maybe you need to do some music. Maybe listen, listen to some music to uplift yourself, Cancer. Inspire you. Maybe listen to some music with somebody older than you and you can connect on music all right um maybe the lover is somebody of a different age than you or you're getting older and things are changing and you've forgotten your connection maybe music can help music can always help the language that no one needs to understand to understand it so this little boy is learning from his grandfather or his neighbor or the weird old man that was sitting reading a book in the woods when he was in his knickers singing. Multitasking. Number nine, completion. So you start as the little boy learning and you end up this little boy at some point in his life is going to be that old man. So maybe the old man has come to the point in his life where he realizes, hold on, I have my cat's bug all over me and Hamlet wants to play. I told you to take a break. I need you to take a break. Get the fur, fur off of my face somewhere. All right, so I say that a lot. I realize when I watch videos, I say, all right, so more than I like, but weird to see yourself on a video. It was weird looking at the video of me when I was like 11 and I look exactly the same and I'm doing the same thing. That was a mind trip. So here we go. Your younger self and your older self. This could be you, you know. Maybe you needed to think about how you were as a child and what was important to you. Maybe you are nothing like what you thought you would be as a child and yet still everything like how you were as a child. You're a child, but a, a, there's a wisdom of the child because there's a honesty, a bluntness, a curiosity, and a faith, you know, uh, starry eyes, a child, a drive to learn, you know, they absorb everything so much more at that age than he does, but he has the experiences in his life to use that knowledge and to analyze it correctly. Hopefully he's still at that place in his life where he can question things 
like the child because they're both important. You need to connect your inner child and your, your adult wise one together. He has a book. He's learned things. He's teaching what he knows. He's passing along the knowledge. Maybe there's something about you that is wise. Cancer. You are wise and you are the nurturer. You are able to take care of others. And they can feel comfortable around you with that. So maybe there's something special that is not so normal in the comfortable department that you're able to pass along. Maybe it's something weird, but you're able to make people comfortable there. Maybe that alone time made you understand this about yourself, understand the strengths about yourself, look into your experiences that you have, understand what you would tell yourself if you were a child and you could talk to them now. Or if you have the opportunity with an actual child in your life, why not pass along the wisdom? Why not do something on YouTube if you have a good idea or something that you've thought of? Put it down. Put it out there. Maybe you will inspire one little child somewhere that finds it. You know, lights, camera, action. Maybe that's your sign. Maybe one of you has an idea and you're just sitting on it. And you need to let it out. You're ready. It's ready to burst out of you. We're going to go away from the lovers for a moment. And look at all this hard work that you've put into. Maybe you just didn't have the right outlet. Maybe you weren't, work, weren't in the right field. You know? So you went by yourself for a bit to figure out how you can get in a field where you have more stuff coming faster for you because this is it coming and this is you coming from the right place of knowing what you're doing so maybe you need to talk to yourself as you would be in 20 years or talk to yourself as you were 20 years ago and look at where you were now look at where you are now i didn't mean to lift the cards but underneath the one is this this is the Ten of Cups, and this is like your your happy family castle in the sky. Just remember that that fairy tale castle happy ending, that family that you see that looks like they have the perfect amount of kids and the perfect SUV and the perfect white picket fence, really under the surface, has had a lot of experiences, a lot of fights, a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of joy, a lot of everything to get there. And then when you're there, it's not done. You know, you're never really done yet. So it's never really that happy fairy tale ending. It's the journey. It's the experiences along the way. Have fun when you're in this field already. If you gotta plow some stuff, turn on the music, dance around with your, watch my videos. I have some videos on what to do in the garden. It's hard work and your back hurts, but there are ways to make it fun when you get the mission from your father to dig some trenches and you go out there and it's like a 25 by 25 thing that he's dumped a load of, of dirt with the tractor six hours later comes home and you're like you didn't tell me it was like that big of a row but you know you do it and you make it fun consider it your workout for the day you're getting some sexy ass muscles you're getting some you know you're plant, uh, planting your seeds it's going to be abundant it's going to be worth it in the end you're going to eat the food that you put this love into I talk too much. I gotta make a part three. Bonus cancer part three coming up soon. See you later.